Hello everyone, I'm Nova Lui, IHP Bank's Head of Investors Advisory. November 2022, US headline inflation continued to ease to 7.1% against 7.7% in October, which is on the fifth month straight decline for the year. US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen predicts a substantial reduction in US inflation in 2023, bearing any unforeseen circumstances. The inflation news coincides with US Feds raising only 50 basis interest rate in the last meeting of 2022. Market briefly rebound when this was announced, however, ended the year lower by 5.7% in the same month. Federal Reserve is considering smaller interest rate hike in the coming FOMC meeting, but stressed on longer period of higher interest rate to bring down inflation. China is its strict zero COVID tolerance policy after a massive white paper protest occurred in major city that threatens social stability in the country. The reversal led to renewed optimism in China's economy recovery. China's central bank PBOC pledged to support domestic demand and maintain effective growth of credit as the economy reopens from COVID restrictions and will focus on stabilizing growth employment prices as well as supporting the expansion of domestic demand. Hang Seng Index jumped by 6.37%, followed by Hang Seng China Enterprise 5.19%, and FTSE China A50 Index up by 3.34% in December 2022. China's National Health Commission announced that the management of COVID-19 will be downgraded from Class A to Class B, from 8 November 2023. This means there will be no more quarantine for people entering the country and there will be no seal control for COVID-19 cases or designation of high-risk area. Malaysia's unemployment rate remains at 3.7%, which rags on the downtrend of unemployment rate reflecting optimism labor force performance in the nation's economic fundamentals, continuous economic growth and social activities. Reopening of China has spurred some positivity to the market where KLCA recovers from third week of the month onwards to close December, which marginally up by 0.45%. We at RHP remains positive on ASEAN economy as a whole and believe Southeast Asia will remain resilient in 2023. Thank you again for joining us today. Despite strong recovery in the Chinese equity market since November 2022, Investors should be cautious on the potential bumpy reopening. Investors who wish to participate in equity recovery market may consider starting from income-related strategies such as dividend shares or mixed asset strategy. Please speak to your RHB Bank's relationship manager to review your investment portfolio and view any other podcast and money chat series from RHB Bank Merch website.